Hey, what's up guys, the Baldwin Commentator here, bring you guys another bombastic video. And since a lot of my subscribers play solo queue and complain about bad teammates, hackers and griefers on their teams, I decided to make a video to help you guys out. I'll talk about how you can quit solo queue entirely and easily find people to play with. Now, let's start with two simple websites. The first one is RecruitCS subreddit. Firstly, if you don't know what Reddit is, you're seriously missing out. You're missing out on a bunch of dunk memes and uh, other pretty cool stuff. But uh, Recruit CS is basically a subreddit to help CSGO players find other similarly skilled individuals to play with. And uh, there are a bunch of threads made daily on Recruit CS, uh, ranging from silver all the way up to the global elite ranks. And uh, I myself have made a few threads on the subreddit, that was back in the days when I didn't have a team, and uh, I did manage to find some really nice people to play with, although you have to be careful when using websites like these. You have to be careful because there might be some scammers. Some people will always want to steal your items. They will play a few matches with you, gain your trust and try to scam you using TeamSpeak or some other shady links. The best thing you can do is just basically don't click any random links and uh, use your own TeamSpeak server or a server you know uh, can't scam you. Another great website I want to talk about is csgoteamfinder.com and in my opinion it's a lot better than CS Recruit subreddit. On CSGO Team Finder you can find people who are looking to start real competitive teams. Play scrims, face it, Sevo, ESCA, and try to compete for prizes. And you can also find people to bug or play matchmaking with, no matter what your rank is. And the best thing about it is that it's very easy. Layout is well made and kept simple, allowing people to search for teammates simply by selecting which continent they're in, what they want to play, and what ranked players they want to search for. I would highly recommend trying CSGO Team Finder, but even if you don't like using these kind of websites, there is still a way to effectively quit solo queuing, although it's a little bit more complicated. But uh, basically, when you solo queue and meet a few high-skilled individuals with a decent enough attitude, don't hesitate to add them. I mean, if they're friendly and get a bunch of kills, why the hell wouldn't you add them to your friend list? Because chances are, they would also much rather play with premates or friends and not randoms. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And to be honest, quitting solo queue is relatively simple, but sometimes, even though I have a team and even though I have like 300 friends on my friend list, I still sometimes feel like solo queuing, even though if I went online and asked some people to play with me, chances are they would. Sometimes I just feel like playing with some other people or sometimes I just don't feel like starting a conversation or uh, joining TeamSpeak or just talking to people on my friend list. Sometimes I just want to play the good old solo queue, which not always is terrible. But if you do want to quit it, there are multiple ways to do so. I'll leave the links down below in the description of all the websites I talked about and hopefully you will find some people to play CSGO with. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, hope you all enjoyed it, it's been the Bali Commentator and I'll see you all later, peace out.